towering before you is Ancalagon, an avatar of fire and death. The very sight of this dragon transports you to the first moment you laid your eyes upon it, watching in horror as this beast eradicated the village you called home. Filled with an unquenchable desire for justice, you traversed across the continent on a journey of growth. After all this time, you stand face to face. Your mother's sword gripped tightly in your hand, ready to fight what was once an unstoppable cataclysm. But despite all that buildup, this story will never happen. Or, more accurately, in a world powered by D&D 5th edition, this story will forever be unsupported by the fiction itself. Cause, even though a GM can tell any story with any tone regardless of system, the math behind D&D will constantly be fighting against them. So, I'm going to illustrate what I mean using the story of our hero versus Ankelagon and show how Pathfinder does a better job telling the story with a simple mechanic. And you stay around till the end, I'll show you how to fix the issue in your D&D game. So, to quickly explain the math to you losers, in D&D 5th edition, proficiency is a static number determined by your level, increasing occasionally when you level up, from plus 2 to plus 6. Easy, simple, straightforward. Which undoubtedly has its merit, however, I'm going to show you how this simple number doesn't support the zero to hero fantasy so common at our tables. As a result, our level 1 fighter, watching in horror as an ancient and powerful dragon destroys his peaceful village with no resistance. Taking up his mother's blade to bravely but foolishly charge the beast, he actually hurt the beast. That's right, at the very beginning of the story, he has a 30% chance of hitting the dragon. Okay, well, he's definitely still going to lose the fight, but the point of the matter is, as far as the world is concerned, he can kill this thing. Cthulhu has a health bar. Moreover, when his journey is coming to a close, the fighter and the beast toe to toe once again. After all his trials and tribulations, he has grown so tremendously that now he has a 50% chance to hit. He's gotten 20% more accurate than he was at the very beginning, and this is as good as he's going to get. Now, there are a lot more factors that go into game balance than just how often an attack lands, and I plan on making more videos about those aspects and how different systems succeed and fail in different ways, yada yada yada. So, feel free to fight me in the comments about how I'm wrong, but make sure to subscribe so you can fight me in the next video too. So, how does Pathfinder 2nd Edition change this? Very quickly, proficiency in Pathfinder is tiered, meaning you can be more or less proficient in something regardless of level. However, the real kicker, and what changes the game, when you are proficient in something, you add your level to it, meaning every time you level up, you are getting measurably better at the things you are good at. Now, let's see what this does for the narrative. Our lowly level 1 fighter charges into the billowing flames left in Ancalagon's wake, a brave act of defiance, though in the end, meaningless. Not only is there zero chance of striking the dragon, there is a 95% chance that the strike is a critical failure. Our heroic but foolish fighter is tossed aside like nothing. But after a campaign of growth and preparation, our level 17 fighter now charges the dragon with the strength, skill, and might of a hero of legend with a 50% chance of hitting. Now that may sound bad, but remember that we went from less than zero to 50. And none of this is including that Pathfinder focuses much more heavily on teamwork, leading to an assumption that you will be buffed beyond what we're representing here. In the end, it all comes back to the fiction. A GM can still craft any story with any system, but why settle for a system that you have to fight with duct tape and a nail gun? Especially if the only reason being is you're just really used to using duct tape. The simple addition of one's level to their score almost makes it impossible to avoid the fantasy of growing into the heroes we all strive to play. So, whether you find yourself in a world powered by D&D 5th edition or Pathfinder 2nd edition, remember that the numbers on the character sheet are not just statistics. They are the language through which our stories unfold. A story where every level marks palpable growth, the progression, a tangible, measured evolution from lowly farm boy to great swordsman. Oh, right. Uh, for those of you looking to fix the issue with D&D 5e, play Pathfinder.